Welcome to the lecture on advanced MATLAB functions. Let's start this lecture asking a very basic question. Can a MATLAB function accept variable number of input arguments? The answer is yes. You've already used functions like that earlier in this course. So whenever you were calling the function zeros, you know, zeros of phi creates a phi by phi matrix full of zeros. You could also call zeros with two input arguments where, you know, when you send four and five, it's gonna create a four by phi matrix full of zeros. Now, how do we define functions like these? By using varargin and nargin. Now, these are not some magical spells. Uh, varargin stands for variable arguments as input and nargin stands for number of arguments as input. Now these two are, you know, very interesting inbuilt MATLAB variables. So varargin is actually a inbuilt MATLAB cell array and nargin is a variable that counts the number of input arguments. Okay, so let's try to write a function that can compute area of a square or a rectangle. You know, the condition is that if only one input arg argument is given, you're gonna compute the area of a square. If two input arguments are given, you're gonna compute the area of rectangle. All right, so I named my function um, with output argument area equals to area underscore rect square. And in the parenthesis, I'm writing var argin. Okay, so uh, I'm telling MATLAB, you know, you can expect variable number of input arguments for this function. Now, the next step is I'm saying if nargin, which is like number of arguments, is one, then just simply take the square of that number. If nargin equals to two, then area equals to varargin of two multiplied by varargin of one. Uh, this will become much more clear when I actually use this function. So first let me save it and then try to call it on command prompt. Okay, so I would say area of rectangle square of five. So I'm only sending one input argument. So my answer is 25. But if I send five and four, my answer is 20. Now you have to note that varargin is an inbuilt MATLAB cell array. So it would let you input any type of, you know, input arguments in there. Now if you send only one input argument, then, you know, nargin is gonna be one, and then you're just computing the square of that value. Okay, so it's gonna compute the area of the square. Let's try to see what happens if we input three input arguments. Okay, so let me do that. I'm gonna say area underscore rect square, five, four, and five. Okay, so, um, so basically your area is not being assigned because your number of arguments are three and you haven't handled that condition in your function. So what I would do is I'll add an else condition where I would print an error saying enter, you know, one or two arguments. You know, that's what my function is capable of. So I'm just gonna have that error message up there. So let me save it and run the same thing again. Okay, so either one or two input arguments. Th that's the same message that I've entered right there. Clear? Now similar to this, we have variable number of output arguments that can be supported um, you know, in functions like these. We could use inbuilt MATLAB cell array called as varag out and this variable called as narg out. And uh, here is an example. This function, my size, has three output arguments where first two output arguments are row and column. Now, 
if the user enters three output arguments on the command prompt, then there's going to be an extra output, which is going to give the total number of elements in that matrix. So let's try this function out. So if I say r comma c equals to my size, magic of five. Okay, so it's going to create a five by five matrix. So r and c are, are five. Now if I add this extra element n, then my value is 25 because there are 25 elements in there. Now that is being executed there where narc out tells, tells us basically how many number of output arguments are. And then var arg out, you know, the first element of that should be row multiplied by column. Now let's extend this uh, function to handle four output arguments. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, write var arg out two equals to row divided by column. So for the example that we did earlier, that value should be equal to one because five by five equals to one. All right, so let me add the extra uh, output argument. Let me name it uh, D. There you go. So you can keep extending, you know, this function uh, endlessly, you know, to support as many output arguments as you want.